Now, this video today is going to piss a lot of you off because it's going to be exposing the truth of female nature. But you have to understand this at a deep level because if you're a man who does not have this, like, bitch-ass victim mentality, okay, you can actually understand how to use female hypergamy against them. Because what you have to know on a deep down level is since all women are hypergamous, all men, all, excuse me, all women want dominant men and all women want the best bang for their buck, meaning the highest value man that they can select. What I'm going to be showing you on the whiteboard today is some inside secrets and some skills that you can apply so that way you can use that against them to not only maximize your dating life, but live a really good life of abundance in all ways, shapes, and forms. So as we dive into that, what I wanted to show you today as we hop in is my MBT celeb spotlight from another student who's also named Casey. And he goes, dude, women from my past are coming back to absolutely insane. I wish I had come across Casey Owen, which is my middle name when I was in high school. So if you've been left in the past, if you've been dumped, heartbroken, cheated on, jaded, like you have to understand that these things are fixable. And what I created was MBT masculine behavioral techniques to help you get there as fast as possible. So after this video is over today, you go down below, you hit that link in the description, you check out that free presentation that I made for you. It will totally transform your life. Let's dive into the topic today. All right, quick note, this video will piss some of you off. I'm even going to be revealing some dirty like sexual truths and sexual secrets about how women will break rules for specific men and obviously how you can pull certain things out of women who even claim to be good girls because this video is gonna be like one hell of a treat for you. Now, what you have to understand about using female hypergamy against women is that women only want dominant men. This is something you've probably heard on other like creator channels or dating channels, but hear me out because this is extremely important. Like write this down in a notebook. Women only want, desire, and crave dominant men. Now, here's what you gotta know. There's two different mindsets, okay? There's alpha men and then there's beta men. Now, an alpha man or a man with an alpha mindset, okay? He is going to use this to his advantage. Alpha men use female, use female hypergamy to their advantage. That means since they know that women want the bigger, badder, more dominant deal, they're going to act accordingly, which means they live their life consistently day in and day out. Like you got to remember, you got 24 hours in a day. I got 24 hours in a day. Like we all get to choose where we put our fucking time. You got to put your fucking time in the places that's actually going to help you develop, which means they use their time to become more attractive. See, there's a lot of like preconceived notions that like saying this stuff we're talking about it is like shameful or guiltful, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't make it any less true. Now, as an alpha man comes to terms with this, okay, he's going to use his time to learn how to have better frame, craft a more dominant attitude, okay, and also have backbone. This is what women are looking for. Now, Majority of men are not born this way. There's a saying that I've used my whole life, okay, women are born and men are made. Very few men ever are made just this super dominant fucking Superman alpha incredible Hulk dude, okay? That's not how life works, okay? Men go through trials and tribulations and suffer, which means men make themselves men. Women are born, okay? Women have an innate value as they're born, okay? They can procreate and give new life. Men are made. You have to make yourself a man. Every woman knows this on some level too. So this means you need to have backbone. The only way that you can have backbone is if you genuinely give zero fucks about the outcome. Okay, some bad shit hit happens with your business. You say, fuck it, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna get better. Bad things happen where shit doesn't work out with the chick. You, you have an abundance mindset where you move on, okay? A true alpha man genuinely gives zero fucks about the outcome due to the fact that they are willing to work because they can't be replaced. Okay, they can replace the girl, but they can, they themselves, it's very hard for the woman to replace them. So this is extremely important because if he walks around with this mindset, like, I don't care, I'm outcome independent. Okay, I don't care about the outcome. I don't care what I, like, I don't care if something fails and I don't care if I make mistakes. Not only that, he's willing to work day in and day out. He will walk around with the mindset that he can replace the girl. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you in a, in a very, in a short period of time here why this is extremely important, okay? Now, on the contrary to this, a beta man, what he's going to do is he's going to complain about female nature wanting the bigger, badder deal. He's also going to use this as a victim mentality to say life isn't fair. And then on top of that, what a lot of them will do is they're going to rely on fate. Okay, when I say rely on fate, 
they're gonna hope and pray that one day they just like stumble upon like a, a good dating life or they hope and pray that you know they uh <laughs> they're walking home from school and they, they bump into a girl accidentally and they catch her and uh, there's fairy dust and doves flying and all of a sudden she falls in love with them like they leave it to fate these are the guys who sit there every night and go Oh, please God, you know, give, give me that, give me that one chick that's going to make my life better when they don't actually understand that it's their job and their duty to make them li their lives better themselves with their own skill set. Now, if you've adapted this and you said, okay, yeah, I'm going to say yes to having an alpha mindset. I'm going to say yes to like being the dominant driving force in my own life. Okay. Now you move on to point two. Okay. The woman, the women who come into your life, she wants to know that you can replace her at any time. Now you might think this is counterintuitive. You're like, well, if I'm going to be dating a girl, if I'm going to be seeing a girl, why, like, why would I want to make sure that she wants to know that I can replace her? Isn't that going to piss her off? Isn't that going to make her run away? Isn't that going to make her think that, oh, there's other options out there, so I don't want him? Okay, the opposite couldn't be further from the truth. I'm going to share a great story with you in just a second. You see, a woman needs to have competition anxiety to like you. If she doesn't see that any other women like you, if she doesn't see that any other women are into you, it's gonna be extremely hard for her to get turned on because a woman's number one greatest tool, okay, is her ability to judge your value based on how many other women want you. I'm gonna give you an example, okay? A dude who's six foot two, jacked, multimillionaire, walks into a bar. He's not with any girls, okay? He just looks at, he has a normal attitude and walks in. You know, women might look at him and go, but damn, he's attractive. But now let's take a different guy, maybe a different guy, average job, average occupation, who walks in with two girls, they're smiling at him, they're looking at him, they're laughing. That guy is going to have more perceived psychological value in the woman's head. It all depends on what she views as the psychological placeholders and value. It has nothing to do with your self-improvement journey, no matter how much you want to tell yourself that it does. I'll explain to you why this is extremely important, okay? If other women don't like you, neither will she. This means that it is your job and your duty in every way, shape, and form. You want to demonstrate your own value and your own pre-selection value as often as you can. And that's going to come through your status. It's going to show, come through your ability to convey yourself with the right confidence and the right charisma. This is going to be you ready and willing to set frames and outcomes and expectations of whoever is in your life. This is extremely important. You want to have a dominant driving force and attitude in your own life. So here's a story I'm going to tell you. This is funny and I think you guys are going to like this, especially when I show you some sh screenshots and some social proof. Okay. So there was this girl who I was messing with all summer. Okay. I was messing with this girl all summer and she came off as like, like the demeanor she gives is like a church girl or the demeanor she gives off is like, I'm a traditional like church girl or like, uh, that's, that's the attitude, like conservative, traditional church girl. Okay. That's the attitude. Now here's the funniest part about this. Okay. When I first started seeing her, I was dating other women, which means I had other women who I was consistently seeing on a weekly basis. Okay. I, they're, they're in my life. Like we had, and these were women that I knew from the past. Okay. So here, here's the funniest thing about this. There's a preconceived notion where a lot of people will say, not all women are the same or not all women are attracted to this stuff. And most guys would look at that and they go, Oh, so she's like a church girl. She believes in, in God and stuff. Okay conservative, she's not going to have the same attraction trigger. She's not going to judge a man's value based on how many other women potentially want him. So I put this shit to the fucking test. Okay. The other girl who I've seen, okay. Big old boobs. Okay. We're talking 32 double D boobs. I post a story on my Instagram with that. And I say some shit like that. They, they, they breed them differently. It was something super funny. Okay. This is before me and this other girl had our first date. I post that shit. She sees it. Okay. I've been talking to this girl at that point for about a week does not lower attraction at all. And we consistently keep talking. Then on top of that, I even took it a step further. This was before I seen her. So me and the girl who I've seen consistently with the big boobs. Okay. When I started to pull back from her because we had some, let's say misalignments in what I wanted and probably what she wanted. There was one night where she was out with friends and as she was out with friends, these are the texts that I'm getting. So she's out with her girlfriend. She says, come out with me. She goes, quit being a bad vibe. She goes, F the other girl you're with. You can see I did not reply. Okay. Then if you see this, obviously she's maybe slightly intoxicated, but what you got to remember is that any time that you have a woman who has some sort of like drunk thought, a drunk thought is obviously like a sober truth. So she goes at a bar, come see us, miss you ugly. Okay. And then the fourth text comes through. She goes, want to do a N a, and then the last letter may or may not be an L I'll let you decide. Okay. She goes, or no. I text at 1 a.m. I go, can't talk right now. Will an a.m. or something. Girl spazzes out. She goes, no, come on, case. F the other girl in your bed. 
come get me. I'm right by your house. I don't get you at all. You don't even know the girl in your bed right now. You <laughs> you don't even know the girl in your bed right now. You know me and I'm drunk, like very drunk and you're choosing her. And then she goes, my head is better and always will be. So I show you this not to brag or to boast. Okay. And I'm also like probably not the guy who's going to say that I'm super proud of every single sexual thriller encounter that I had. But I got the shit down like the back of my hand because when I've been like the amount of women like very like I've not came across a lot of men over the years who have dated as many girls as I have over the past five, 10 years. That's just the fact. So when you see this stuff, when you see this stuff play out, keep in mind. So I post that and I, I even I even posted that on my Instagram along with a couple of witty tweets. I posted that to show guys and I blocked out the girl's name, but I showed that and I got tons of rep responses. Everybody was laughing. Okay. The girl who was a church girl that I've been messing with in the summer. By the second date, okay, this girl is doing everything possible, sucking and swallowing harder than ever. Like these are the things that a girl will do no matter what. So you gotta remember this shit, okay? It doesn't matter what the girl says, like her background is, it doesn't matter what the girl says her values are. When you demonstrate the right attraction triggers as a man, they can't resist it, okay? So that's what you have to understand. Now, there's a second piece to this. Majority of self-improvement only guys they are going to hustle and hustle and hustle and work and work and work. And they're like, Oh, I got to keep going to the gym. I got to keep getting bigger. I got to keep making more money. I got to keep doing this. All of that is bullshit. And here's why it, well, it's not bullshit. Like here's what you got to understand that gets your foot in the door. It gets your foot in the door for that attraction level. She's like, Ooh, there's certain things about him that are attractive. I don't know if I like him yet though. So here's what you got to remember men know in one second, if we like a girl, Okay, men can tell right away. They're like, yep, this is the type of girl I'm into or this is the type of girl I'm not. It takes one second. A woman, she may find you attractive. But you gotta remember a woman's time frame and a woman's time horizon for if she warms up to a guy is longer, which means you have to demonstrate the right things longer on a consistent basis. So self-improvement guys only get so far. What you gotta understand is this, you being able to lead her, you being able to set the frame and the expectations and call her out on bullshit if you don't like that behavior and be willing to remove yourself from the potential like attention and willingness to be there if like you don't have the right frame set up that she would want to come into. All of this is super important. And the only way you can do this is if you're outcome detached. That's why I told you at the beginning, an alpha man genuinely gives zero fucks about the outcome. Like because there's ebbs and flows with everything in life. In business, there's high times and there's low times. In the gym, there's sometimes when you have really high strength and you know other times maybe life got in the way and you didn't get the right amount of calories in and maybe your strength's a little lower. Okay, at certain points, there's really good times with women and then at some points, there's bad times with women. Everything is ebbs and flows. So you gotta understand that an alpha man is outcome detached because he understands that life happens. So as you look at this, what's the most important? Well, when you have the abundance mindset to say, it doesn't matter, I understand that I'm a man of plenty, not a man of few. I am not in scarcity, I'm a man who gets what I want. This is extremely important because it gets you 10, 10 times further in life. And not just with women, this gets you 10 times further in life in every way, shape and form, even more than looks, money or status. It is that mindset that you're driving force in your own life. These things are good superficial attraction markers, good superficial attraction levers or attraction triggers to get a woman's foot in the door and get her warmed up to you. But this is not the shit that is going to keep her. So that is my story for you. The, the women respond to the same things no matter no matter what where, where their background is where their ethnicity is like where they're from doesn't matter women respond to the same things in a man and when you demonstrate the right things okay this girl is willing to break all of the rules and all the things that she said that she doesn't like to do but she's willing to break them in a quick hurry when the frame is set up there that gives her that environment to make her want to do it now whether you want to go and you want to engage in a lust filled situation that's up to you okay i'm not fucking perfect either and I share with you every single mistake on this channel, along with every single victory, along with every single story, along with every single thing that I've ever done, which means that I give you this shit because it's true. No matter how it makes you feel, no matter what your moral consequences feel that it is or isn't, it doesn't make it any less true. And the quicker that you put the lens on with your eyes in the world of what is true versus what it is, what isn't is the quicker that you can actually get ahead. Hit that like button, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and we'll see you in the next one.